Good morning guys, it's Saturday, it doesn't matter because I've just been at work, got home from work and I have another review from you, so welcome guys to another review from me, Matt, the man of ah! Hope you're having a fantastic weekend wherever you are, whatever you're getting up to and whatever you're doing, the weather has improved, although it was cold and windy out there, it's not raining anymore, so that is a bonus. Huge massive thank you before we get started to each and every single one of you out there that's watching my videos, liking my videos, commenting on them. I do read and will respond to each and every single comment that is made. And for all of you guys out there that are subscribed to what I'm doing and following me over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt, where I'm trying my hardest to support small brands, individuals and craftsmen, help promote them and show you guys that there is an alternative to these huge massive brands pumping their stuff out from their factories, that these smaller brands and individuals they need a hand because without us supporting them and buying from them, the only alternative we have left are these kind of like mass produced lumps of solar stuff being pumped out. And I really love people that have got a skill set, you know, whether it's woodworking, leather work, metal work, whatever, anything that's being made by small brands and individuals, craftsmen. It's just amazing, you know, the love, the time, the effort, the money uh, that they're putting into a dream that they have and want to carry on doing. And craftsmanship nowadays is kind of like a dying art. There are less and less people doing it because it's cheaper to buy from these huge places. And I like the idea of skills being passed down from generation to generation. So sort of like someone's granddad was a woodworker who's taught their dad who's and it just goes through the stages. And it would be horrible to see this kind of like just disappear i know we live in an age of technology and stuff but it's still nice to see that there are people out there that are creating some amazing things and with all the reviews that i do on my channel stuff that gets sent through to me stuff that i go out and buy all of my reviews are completely honest everything i do is my own honest opinion and i'm completely unbiased because i would hate to say something's good you go out buy it and you get it back and you go it's not if you're good it's not as good as he said or what for whatever reason and you either bin it dump it give it to someone you don't like as a christmas present so all of my reviews are completely completely honest with all the reviews that i do 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 on my channel links will be down below in that there description box down there somewhere so please give them some help support and a follow and i have Three reviews for you this morning. I've got another one coming up this afternoon. This three reviews is from a partner group. Um, not sure whether it's boyfriend, girlfriend, or man and wife, or husband and wife. Um, but they both do kind of like crafts. One of them makes is basically woodworking and makes uh, bespoke, unique, handmade jewelry. The other one is a graphic artist who creates or has created a graphic novels. And they've been very, very kindly or they're very kindly sent these through for me to have a look at, see what I think of them, give you guys my honest opinion. So first of all, the actual um, brand is called Scarb, and we're gonna be looking at the jewelry first, and then we'll have a look at the graphic novel. So these were very kindly sent through to me in the post. Arrived a couple of days ago, I've given it a try, had a look, see what I think of it. And so I don't test things to destruction, but I know that there's nothing worse than going out and buying something nice and then it falls apart. So I do try it, I test it, I get it wet, to see if it's gonna survive, just to give it a bit of wear and tear. So inside the package that turned up, thank you for all of your support, Matt, Sabina and Powell. Um, Scarb Craft and Temple of Cyan. Temple of Cyan is the graphic novel that we're gonna be looking at shortly. And so I wondered what has turned up when I saw these in the package and it was like, ooh, really nice. And opened it up and it smelled beautiful. They've, these are made out of pine, these little boxes. This one had the ring in there and it's got some, for, or some form of sawdust on it, uh, which is really nice. And when I was chatting to them, um, to Powell about what the products are made out of and everything. All these little boxes that he's made, uh, they're from pine. You can either have a cardboard box or a wooden box with whatever you sort of purchase. And these are actually kind of like oddments of wood that he's got kicking around. And it's really nice. These are kind of like an art form of themselves. 
and the turning that is done on this obviously on a lathe or something really really nicely finished got that beautiful fresh sort of piney wood smell the top fits the base i mean i'm talking more about here than the packaging than i'm the actual product itself but it needs to be said this this is going to continue being used um my wife has already commandeered um this one for her piercings and bits and pieces to go and i'm keeping this one um i'm going to put the rings back in it beautiful and that's the thing that i like with wood is that everything's different you'll never get the same grain same patination and everyone's got their own ideas that's the logo underneath you've got almost like the tree of life and scar but written on it this one i couldn't get the top off and i thought perhaps he's, he's just a lump of wood or something like top of a banister rail or something but again this one i'll get the top off now this one had a pendant inside really nicely finished um no jaggedy nasty bits and it's nice that you could use these afterwards for other things keeping any knickknacks pins badges rings jewelry all sorts of bits and pieces and so the packaging itself is absolutely spot on i love the whole upcycling thing so rather than just putting it on a fire and burning it or it just sits there and rotting away it's actually been turned into something as beautiful if not beautifuler than the actual um jewelry itself and these are all handmade um really really nice both made out of pine the two boxes so the first one had a pendant in it um, this one is made out of olive wood got a really nice clasp on there a uh, leather thong quite a decent long length one decent thick thickness as well not one of these ones that you get that are really really thin and break nice a bit of detailing on the actual pendant hook clasp whichever you want to call it nice decent thickness to it as well this one has a celtic um triskelion on it if you want to call it that or triskelion however you want to call it uh, which is a celtic or celtic symbol for strength again beautifully finished on olive wood there is it's one of those really tactile things the same with the pots you just kind of rub your hands over it and it's got a really nice feel to it the design itself is nicely done on there it's not jagged or off center or anything really really nice i love the two tone in the wood too and like i was saying you can guarantee that no two pieces are going to be exactly the same it's the same with forging metal and making stuff out of metal and to a certain degree leather as well um no two pieces are going to be alike and i love this just the feel of it itself i was sitting there last night when i was writing my notes down after speaking to them kind of like just stroking it and feel it. it's got that lovely feel to it and obviously the more you wear it your oil seep into it sweat as well if if you so wish um so it does change the patination and color very slightly when you wear it um this is finished off and i think it's waxed or varnished because it, it it feels like it i've got it wet had no issues with it dried it off nicely and it's absolutely beautiful i love it to pieces and this, when it came, uh, opening the pot, just sat really, really nicely. So it was almost like made to measure for the actual pendant itself um, with the cord coiled round in it, underneath it. Put it back in so you can see how it looked when I undone it. So it's pretty much like that. And it's just absolutely beautiful. A work of art. Second of all, he sent through in this little pine pot. Um was a ring because he makes all sorts of woodworking bits uh unique handmade jewelry pen holders pretty much anything you could possibly make out of wood this ring is made out of coco bolo hardwood and copper now the i don't i hope the camera is doing this justice because the actual wood itself is beautiful it's almost like got flame colors to it bright oranges and reds through it almost to a purple sort of stage and it's beautiful you've got a uh, twisty copper that you, yeah it's picking that up you can see that where it's been twisted round and that's beautiful it's, again it's beautifully finished it's quite a light lightish piece of jewelry fits extremely well on my finger because that's where rings are supposed to go um slightly too big for the rest of my fingers but on my index finger 
fits absolutely fine. And it's, it's just beautiful. It's, again, it's got that feel to it that you just kind of keep playing with it through your fingers. There's no jaggedness to it. It's really nicely finished. Even the ring itself, it's fully centered. The hole in the middle is not sort of wider on one part and thin on the other part. Really, really solidly made, well, uh, well made piece. I don't know whether you can see that, but the copper just runs around the outside. It doesn't obviously run through into the middle section. Uh, and even with the copper that he's put on there, it all sits flush. There's no divots or bumps where you've got the copper banding that runs through it. Just really, really nicely made. Oh, beautiful. Second of all, was sent uh, thirdly from his partner, whose name is Sabine. Um, Sabine, Sabina, and she has done the graphics novel. This is number one, as it's got number one written on the front. Uh, oh, Sabina, Sabina Skiba. Um, God of knowledge, Sion has fallen. He was banished and imprisoned as a punishment for wishing that the truth and knowledge about the creation of the world and man would come to light. It is time to fulfill his purpose. <coughs> uh, creator, author, Sabina Skiba. Uh, editing support, Paulina Skiba, um, English text, Powell Sakovitz, which must be Powell um, that does the uh, jewellery. So Powell done the English text and the creator of it is Sabina, his partner. And first, I like graphic novels because with reading a regular book, I've done a book review or a couple of book reviews, you make your own pictures up in your brain and they give you the story, you make up your images in your own head. It's nice with graphic novels as well that you actually get to see the, what the characters are like that the people that are writing the book have actually created. And that's one thing I do like with graphic novels. It's like, this is what they look like. And I wouldn't say it's, it's dumbed down. If you know, I hold graphic novels in exactly the same light as I do books. And I do love the artwork behind it. And I'm not going to spoil the entire book, but it's some really, really beautiful artwork in there. It's a good story as well. This is the first one, so I'm sure there are going to be others. Artwork in there is spot on, whoever's done that. It's got this kind of blue, wintry, white sort of coloration to it. So it's not full of colours. That's about as colourful as it gets. But I really like the tone and the feel. And the artwork inside is phenomenal. It's a good story as well. I'm just flicking through. How many pages are there? I don't know. I'm not going to count them. But it's quite a few pages. And it is a good story. And like I say, the artwork is fantastic. This is available in Amazon. Also available on Kindle. Which I believe is... Um, you can download it onto your Kindle readers or iPads or whichever and read it that way. Really, really cool. I'm very interested to see what the next book comes out like and I hope that she does bring another book out because the storyline in this is very, very good and it is a good read and artwork's fantastic. Now, price-wise, the pendant itself, bearing in mind all these are customizable. You can have different um, designs put on them, different words, and so everything else is... Th these just have to be the bits that he sent out. But everything is unique, handmade, so you can have bespoke stuff made. The Triskelion uh, Celtic Strength Olive Wood Pendant is coming in at £25. And they are based in the UK, which I think is great, especially with the little pot as well. Which is beautiful. Love it to pieces. The ring itself... Um, these are usually £65, There's loads of different ways you can, woods and metals that you can have done in the ring. This is coming in at £65, but there is a sale at the moment on for Christmas, uh, which is going for £55. Again, I would quite happily pay that for this and the pendant because I know that it's unique. It's a one-off piece. There's not another one like this in the world and that it's helping to support people with skills in, or the creators, as in Paul and Sabina, 
or Powell, sorry, um, that are creating some amazing things. So it's nice to support these small brands. And the book itself, uh, Temple of Cyan, £8.99 from Amazon and £4.79 on Kindle from Amazon as well. Really, really good read. And I can't fault any of it. And I really like, I've said this before in other reviews that I've done, when somebody says they're going to send you something through, you get it through in the post and, and they're what do you think of this? Do you like this? How how would you change it? Give us your honest opinion. I will give you my honest opinion. If it had turned up in a horrid plastic container and it hadn't been well finished, I would have soon said in the review. But they are absolute things of beauty and I really wish them continued success with what they're doing, both with the graphic novel and the woodworking jewellery side of it because they're really, really great. I think the prices are reasonable for it. I'd even possibly pay slightly more for the ring, up to kind of like around about 70, 75 pounds. So really nice piece of kit. And I hope you have enjoyed this review this morning. It's now 12 minutes to 12. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Any questions, any comments, please put them down below. I do read and respond to them. Thank you so, so much for to SCARB. Temple of Cyan, Sabina, Pell for sending these through. Absolutely stunning works of art and I will treasure them forever. Thank you so, so much. Hope you've enjoyed this and also a massive thank you to all the support from each and every one of you guys out there. It is getting harder to carry this on and to keep on going. I do want to keep this channel going in order to help promote and support small brands and craftsmen out there. So anybody needs any help please get in touch with me I don't charge for what I do and it's just for the love of trying to help others as much as I possibly can or one man can with his iPad in front of him but thank you so so much I hope you have a wonderful day and weekend out there keep on taking care of each other keep on helping and supporting each other and above all keep on loving each other and growing those beards if you're growing one and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next review from me Matt the Bearded Berserker have a great afternoon Thank you for your time, guys. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you so much to Temple of Zion and Scarb for sending those through. Have a great one. Thank you.